What's up guys, welcome back to the fitness vlog. I am on my way to the Las Vegas of Texas, which is called Windstar. I had a panic attack 15 minutes into the three and a half hour drive, so things are off to a great start. I like pulled off the road, my arms were going numb. It was really, like I don't know why it happened, I don't know. I haven't eaten, I've been, I think I've lost some weight. So I've been eating one meal a day at 1.30 p.m. and then I'd be drinking a Slim Fast at 6 p.m and then I drink another Slim Fast at 8 p.m. And I've been doing that during the week. During the weekends, I cheat a little bit. So I'm going to this Las Vegas thing, this Las Vegas place with my best friend, Bella. She's my best friend. And we're gonna go to stay in a place with a hotel pool and, um, or I mean, it's like a hot tub in the room or something. I don't know, it's supposed to be awesome, but we got a long drive ahead of us. I work from home a lot. I need to get out. Like Blair's in Miami, I like, you know, I, I gotta move, dude. I gotta make moves. Whenever I leave it to myself to get shit done, I just do it so fucking on time. Like, literally, I woke up, I got my beard trimmed, I got my oil changed, I got my car detailed. But the whole morning, I was asking people what their lucky numbers were at each place. The place I got my oil changed, I met this nice woman named Chrissy, I think that was her name. And then at the barber shop, I met this other woman and she was fucking awesome and she gave me her lucky number. And if I win with one of their numbers, I'm gonna go give them some of that money that I win. Because without them, I wouldn't have had the numbers. Life's an adventure, you gotta live it. You know, I got stopped at the grocery store the other day and she was so nice and she recognized me from the dude sins. She was like, hey, were you on the dude sins? And I was like, yeah. And she like, it was so nice. And she took a picture, it was really nice. It's hard for me to film. It's hard for me to film. The last video I did, I'm gonna do a whole video on doing that video, because basically I haven't been drinking, I haven't drank in months, like, and I don't want to. Even though I'm going to a casino right now, they're like, oh yeah, Joey's fitness vlogs. But like, no, 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 no. I've been sober for a long time and I love it. And it's keeping me on track, it's keeping my mind clear. It's been very beneficial. I've been working a lot and Recently I've been told, I don't want to dive too deep into this, but like recently I've been told that I need to work on my storytelling abilities. And I can see their point, honestly. I mean, my fitness vlogs don't really have any story. Um, it's all just random crap and I love it, but it doesn't make sense. So I need to work on my storytelling and just be more honest and tell you guys more about what develops me as a character. I'm also gonna be reviewing albums during this trip. I just listened to Blackpink's new album. I really like Blackpink, I enjoy their videos. Pretty much the only K-pop I listen to. Love the first album, that was like a 10. This album, I'm gonna go with hard, heavy, heavy six. So that's a good six, so it's like six plus. Six, six and a half, out of 10. So, now again, I'm only one listen through it and I had a panic attack, so I might re-review it later. All right, I got about an hour left until I get to the hotel that I'm staying at. And this whole time, I keep seeing signs for Bucky's. It's like a, uh, it's a beaver mascot. And um, it, sent, it keeps sending me encouraging um, billboards to keep going to Bucky's. They're really funny. I'll show, I'll show some here. It has like a really cute little beaver guy on there. All right, so I kept it, I didn't film a lot in Bucky's because everyone was complimenting how cute Bella was. Look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. Look at that. Thumbnail. But no, for real, it was a, it was a madhouse in there. I got a Bucky's shirt. And it's actually a lucky Bucky's shirt because I'm going to be winning at the casino later. Speaking of casino, this one is another, uh-oh, <laughs> whoops. It's a long sleeve. I didn't mean to get a long sleeve, but look how cool that is. Look how cool that is. Oh wait, that's actually the back. Here's the front. Okay, I didn't really look at it too closely before I bought it, but I really wanted it. And then I also got a, because I'm hungry, a sliced brisket sandwich with some barbecue sauce. 
Oh, nothing for Bella. Oh, doggy cheese. And dog treats. These are duck flavored because it's only the best for my dog. I don't even know if she likes duck. I'm sure she does. Oh, it smells like, kind of like, she's very hesitant. Here, eat the duck, oh. Oh, okay, she likes it. it smells awful. All right, I'm gonna eat the sandwich and we're gonna get to the hotel. Let's get there. Say bye, Bella. Dang, and I'll tell you what, this brisket's really good. All right, holy shit. I'm in my room, pretty standard, pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty standard. Everything's like, what? A hot tub in the middle? A hot tub in the middle of the room. Wow. Bella, we're gonna be living like kings. Yes, get in the tub. Get in the tub, come on, come on. She don't, she don't know the tub. Okay, so I'm gonna just settle in and uh, get the Xbox hooked to the TV, do all the super essentials, walk the dog, do the thing. But yeah, ooh, that's sick. Come on, let's go pee pee poo poo. Not drinking and being in a casino is like a whole different thing. And also, <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I stopped smoking cigarettes too. So this whole place smells like cigarettes. It's just not a good smell when you're not smoking. <laughs> it always sounds so old. I don't drink and smoke anymore. God, this channel has changed. Oh. All right guys, so I had a very interesting time at the casino last night uh first off they didn't love me filming uh so i kind of stopped after a little bit i'm in my other bucky shirt by the way um but look i walked into the casino with 500 dollars, which for me is kind of a lot to just be gambling with you know with the current state of the world where it is and everything i think 500 dollars is a pretty safe bet for <laughs> no pun intended i think 500 dollars is probably more than enough to just gamble. But, left with a thousand, hey! What do you think of that? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Yeah, so I walked in with 500, left with a thousand, and this is all thanks to the people that gave me their lucky numbers. So Christy's the one that trimmed my beard, gave me number 17. So she's definitely gonna get something out of this. Overall, it's been a super fun weekend. I'm gonna just take a nice little bath here in the tub because I have about an hour until checkout and I uh, haven't utilized the giant cool thing that's in the middle of my room here. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, let's, um, let's go. This is so nice. Overall, this trip was a success. I had a lot of fun, I won money, I got to spend time with my dog, got to get outside of the house. So I guess the lesson here is, you know, get out, do things, go enjoy your life. You never know when the world might change or be crazy. Like literally my last vlog was, <laughs> I'm telling you, like a day before um, uh, lockdowns. It was like a day. It was, it was like that whole week leading up to the day before, um, all that stuff happened in 2020. So you never know when life might change or when things change. I always thought my vlogs might be like, um, looked at in the future as like a, um, almost like a time piece, you know, where people can look back and be like, oh, that's what the world was like before everyone was enslaved and eating bugs and living in pots and all the stuff that, you know, may, might happen, 
you know? Back in my whippo, I got a bucket shirt, also bought a zippo. Got a dog in my lap, I did a lap up to Gainesville. I put 500 in and I gained 500 still. Yeah. Bitch. I've been ill since birth. Now I'm a grown man in Fort Worth. I got about three hours till I'm back home. God damn, I need to rest my dome. Yeah. Cause this boom bap rap, it don't leave a lot of slack for me to go and swag out. I don't give a fuck, I got my bug out bag out. Cause every day is apocalyptic, Mr. Mr. Me. Get your lips spit on. If you a freak, open your mouth. I almost missed that exit for 35 West South. Bitch, y'all don't need some gold in your mouth. You need a fucking duct tape and closed. Damn, I might go and duct tape hoes. Psych, I'll be right here till the night. I hope not. All right, guys, I'm back. Hope you like my rapping. I'm just obsessed with Bucky's now. Like, I just stopped there to fill up on gas, so I had like a real reason to stop there. But now I got, um, I got some nuts. Here, I'll review them right now. These are sweet and spicy pecans from Bucky's. Let's go. Man, these got me bucked up. These are great. All right. I would say 10 out of 10. These are perfect. <laughs> All right, back to music reviews. So, Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies. Um, I didn't grow up with this album, so it doesn't have the nostalgia factor. I thought it was very good. It was a little slow at times, and it was good. It was good. I'll give it a solid eight. I'm sure it's like a timeless classic. But, you know, to me it was an eight. All right, guys, I'm at Popeye's. I'm gonna get myself a chicken sandwich and some other stuff. <laughs> it always reminds me of my favorite video title. It was like, trying Popeye's new chicken sandwich and also I'm going to therapy. <laughs> God, we've had some good times, huh? The next album that I got reviewed is Gojira's album, Le Effont Sauvage. And that album was a solid eight and a half. Excellent album. I also listened to Macedon's Crack the Sky album. That's a nine. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm doing awesome. Um, I'm gonna get two spicy chicken sandwiches. Just the sandwiches. Yeah, so Macedon's Crack the Sky album. That was awesome. So that that's an eight and a half. I also listened to the album Broken Bells. Oh, I just hit a curve. I also. The album was called Broken Bells by the band Broken Bells, and it was incredible. That was a nine, solid nine. Thank you, have a good one. How can we improve when we stop trying to improve? Many people wasted their efforts trying to better their lot. Ah, yes. 